for his presence. And anything get out of for the God of the universe. Yeah. Amen. We, we make sure that we strip it off. Yeah. And so God says to Moses, strip it off. And as humbling as that is, we got to do it. Yeah. Amen. It's a humbling process. So the act of removing the sandals was customary to be done on holy ground as an act of worship. Amen. Amen. I'm, I'm going to close this out because I'm losing y'all. Joshua chapter 5. Write it down. Read it later. Joshua chapter 5 verse 13 through 15. It came to pass that Joshua amen was by Jericho. Looked up and he saw and behold there was a man that stood with his sword drawn and in his hand and Joshua went to him and says listen are you for us or are you against us? And he says no but as a captain of the host of the Lord have I come. The Bible says Joshua fell to his face on the earth, and he worshiped and said, what is it that the Lord has to say to his servant? Amen. And the captain of the Lord's host said to Joshua, loose thy shoes from off thy feet for the ground wherein thou standest is holy. And the Bible says, and Joshua did so. So watch this before Joshua and Moses didn't go any further in worship, they had to remove, they had to strip the sandals from their feet. It's necessary. It's a sign of circumcision. It's removing and cutting off. Amen. What is not, amen, going to please God. And so God requires that we strip ourselves of anything that's unholy. Amen. Anything that stands between him and us. Anything that stands and hinders our worship, God requires a certain form of worship. We cannot worship Him until we have stripped off some things. Amen. We really no good to God. Amen. Until we have stripped off some things. Amen. The Bible says that there are six things that the Lord hates. Amen. It says even the seventh one is an abomination to Him. Amen. There's this proud look. There's a lying tongue. There's hands that shed innocent blood. There's a heart that devises evil and wicked imagination. There are feet that are swift to run to mischief. And then there's a false witness that speaks lies. And he that sowed the sword among the brethren. Listen, before we can go further in worship, amen, he has to examine us and we are ourselves. And if there's anything in us that we find, you got to strip ourselves of these things. My last point is sanctify yourself. Amen. You gotta separate yourself. You gotta strip off. Amen. But you also gotta sanctify yourself. Amen. The Bible says in Psalm 29 and 